Hello fans, happy weekend to you and you and you. Thank you for your love and support. This week tutorial is based on unisex outfits, talking about kimono and bath wind. So without wasting too much of time, let's join the class. This tutorial is based on men outfits, kimono or bath wind. Any female can as well wear this outfit. That is why I call it unisex. My shirt block. Let the shoulders touch at uh, the neck point about 2.5 centimeter apart at the ham hole. So you can be able to incorporate your sleeve when you're ready to do so. I am using a classic shirt block. You can as well use it or you use a casual shirt block so you can easily adapt well. Now, after tracing out, though I'm still tracing, I traced to the waist and I extended it a little bit. If you desire, you can as well do the same. Better still, just use your shirt block which you've tested and you trusted. That is, your shirt block already have the length at which you want or you desire. I want to appreciate everyone, our subscribers, our viewers, and those that like our videos, those that share, and those that also comment every time it comes up we say thank you a very big thank you outline what you just traced out for easy access and uh, identification of what you are doing and also please please subscribe please please like please please leave a comment below you can also purchase your tools at what you control or fashion tools at best price I'm going to leave the link below just click it takes you directly to the page and don't forget to join us on Facebook where we share some other ideas updates in our group so right now I'm extending from the waist towards the direction or the level at which I want it for this illustration one then secondly in case probably you want to use this idea for a woman or a lady outfit you can as well do this to the waist and you had a skirt to the lower parts that's why i called it unisex that is if the lady wants uh, the lower parts to be a skirt like you know a dress but it's going to be in two piece form the upper part kimono and the lower part is a skirt it could be in pencil skirt form i'm going to, i'm going to leave links for skirts don't forget to like this video also share so that other people can also benefit from this video thank you i love you Mwah. so i'm still extending but not withstanding this year we'll be doing more of men outfit i'm sorry for the ladies but if you want us to illustrate any outfit you can easily send us a message leave it in the comment or you connect to us directly on whatsapp or you call us it is very simple and we'll be gladly obliged thank you So let's get to business. Welcome back to my channel. This is where we incorporate the sleeve. So now outline the sleeve so that the front sleeve crown overlaps the front armhole at the shoulder by 1.5 centimeter, which is about uh, 5 eighths, if I'm right. Yeah, 5 eighths. Ensuring that the sleeve is evenly placed at the underarm, as shown. This needs to be done carefully so not to mix it up. Just ensure you use your ruler. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and if you have, I love you. But one thing, make sure you click 
the like button yes click the like button right now right now yeah thank you so much thank you so much and um, leave a comment you know let's get to know one another let me hear from you let tell me if truly you were able to achieve this please leave a comment when you are done overlapping roll out or draw out the sleeve block in order for you to be able to measure uh, the necessary measurements needed for the ensure to have the center line of the sleeve marked out so you'll be able to connect by the time you're done either you want it in pieces or you want it in full so you'll be able to see what you've actually done so the next thing we're going to do is to shape it around the ham so what you need to do is to establish the seam position i mean the sleeve seam position usually is about four centimeter or one and a half inches down from the existing ham hole you know you're creating a new sleeve not separated but together built in uh for the kimono top so like what i did now i i am shaping the hem of the sleeve and i've already measured my four centimeter downwards just shaping the the hem and uh, all you need to do again is like i said earlier draw a curve a curved line so to meet the front and the center back bodies at the side as illustrated using the curve a curve curve like i shown you i used four centimeter not to forget that so now we are done with uh the pattern so it's just to cut out and don't forget you can add your seam allowance if you want right now or better still you do that on the fabric you add to the fabric so we are cutting right now please don't forget to subscribe like this video share this video leave a comment below please please i love you <laughs> just do that for me thank you you can as well separate the pattern if you want it separated now truth be told and is a tip by the time you finish this pattern you will realize that it depends on the kind of block you use you realize that either the center front is bigger than the center back or the back is bigger than the center front all you need to do is to blend the necessary parts by the time you fold into two just blend it you know we do blending in our pattern so you just blend it so you can have your your pattern ready now that we are done with the pattern let me show you how to cut and some other stuff thank you so this is the fabric i have which is available though not ironed but ensure you iron your fabric before you cut out so not to have um, extra fullness to it so i'm going to place in this direction mind you but i mentioned the person you want to make their half for has a tummy i have showed you how to adjust that then if not you can cut in this direction just ensure sewing allowance to it so that you can be able to stitch it but if you already have your sewing allowance on your pattern there's no need for you to add any other sewing allowance on the fabric one then secondly talking about the neckline from the picture you can see an opening the neckline is open but in this case, what I did was to slit the center front. If you don't want your center front slitted, you can as well open up the neckline so the wearer can come in comfortably. Thank you. I love you. Kindly subscribe.